Today I'm going to show you how to take this simple 3D model and really spice it up by adding these really cool lattice structures or lattice textures to the model itself using this really cool online tool called High Design. Like I mentioned, High Design is this really cool online tool that allows you to really easily add complex lattice structures or textures to your 3D models themselves. As of this video, High Design is actually an open beta, which means that you can give High Design a try for free. All you have to do is sign up and create a user account, and once everything goes through, you can launch the online tool and start editing your 3D models right away. Before I dive into how to use the High Design online tool, I'm first going to create a 3D model that I actually want to work with in the High Design software. I decided to just make a simple cylinder or cup or whatever you want to call it, just so I can show how how to add these lattice structures to the 3D models you want to work with. I designed this 3D model in Blender, but there's an actual option called Primitives in High Design that allows you to import simple 3D models without making anything so you don't have to do that yourself. Now that I have a 3D model I want to work with, I went ahead and launched the High Design tool and this is what the user interface looks like. By using the left mouse button to click and hold, you can pivot around a point of origin or object and the right mouse button lets you move around the interface itself. So I'm going to start by importing my cylinder that I made in Blender by just going to Menu and clicking on Import. From there I'm going to scroll to where I exported my cylinder and then I'm going to double click on it to load it into the interface. Okay, so it's loaded into the program, so now we're just going to go over a couple of the menu options at the top. There's quite a few to choose from. I'm not going to go super in depth with all that you can use on this program. There's quite a lot. What we're going to mainly focus on is the Boolean tool and the BASF Forward AM Lattice, which is over here to the right. The first step to adding some cool lattices to your 3D models is just clicking the BASF Forward AM Lattice tool at the top and then you're going to select the 3D model you'd like to add these lattices to. In this case, mine is just called Import. So I'm just going to ignore the path to modulator map and the material. I'm just going to leave them as default. But as you can see, there are three different lattice pad types you can choose from. There is footwear protection and seating lattice options. So in the video description, I added a link that takes you to the BASF lattice guide. If you follow that, you can see the different type of lattices that you can add through the different types of lattice pad options that they give you in high design. If you want me to dive more into that, let me know in the comments. But for now, I'm just going to pick Footwear, Code B, and Stiffness 3, just because I like those options. And I'm just going to click Confirm, and it's going to just show you what that lattice looks like after you select it, after it loads. When it's done loading, you can see what it kind of does is it really just takes that 3D model that you have and replaces it with the lattice type that you choose in the options. And we're going to go a step further with this. I'm just going to import another one of those plain cylinders into the interface. And when it's done loading, you can see how the lattice kind of extends both outside and inside of that original model that we changed with the lattice. So that was the footwear lattice pad option. I'm going to switch over to some of the different options just to show you what they kind of look like. So if you disable the footwear lattice type, you're left with that same cylinder we brought in. I'm just gonna do the exact same thing as I did before and select protection, code B, stiffness three, and it's gonna show you what the protection lattice pad looks like. Okay, once it's done loading, this is the protection code B stiffness three lattice type that we selected in our options. And I quite like this one. I don't know what it is about it. It's kind of a thick and almost like a double lattice type structure. And I think it looks pretty cool. Just for comparison, again, this is the footwear lattice pad option. And this is the protection lattice pad option with the same code and stiffness, just to show you the difference there. So again, I'm just going to import another one of those plain cylinders that I imported before. As you can see, it kind of combines the two when you bring it in here and you can see the lattice both inside and outside the model. And if you don't want your model hot pink, you can just click on the color and either manually change the color or you can mess with the numbers itself. And I was just going to turn it back to black so that it matches with the model and you can see what it looks like if you were to combine them both. But before we get that far, I have one more 
more lattice pad type to show you just before we start moving into combining and such. So again, I'm going to select seating this time, code B, stiffness three, and click confirm. So here's what the seating lattice pad type looks like. I also think this one looks pretty cool. And again, I'm just going to import another plane cylinder. Once that's imported in, you can kind of get a preview of what that looks like if you were to combine the plane cylinder with this lattice. For this particular one, it doesn't seem ideal to me. It looks like a lot of the lattice is actually on the interior of the model, which is kind of the opposite of what I'm going for. I wanted a little bit in the model, but I wanted most of it kind of towards the outside. So this is quite an easy fix. All I need to do is copy that cylinder that I made originally and make it smaller. There might be a way to do this in high design, but I haven't messed around with it enough yet and I knew it was going to be a quick fix in Blender, so that's what I did is just made and exported a smaller one. And then of course, when I load that smaller one into the interface and it loads, you can get a preview of again what that would look like. So it looks like it's a little better, but still a little off. I'm gonna turn everything black just to see what it looked like as a matching set. Instead of heading back to Blender to make an even smaller cylinder I think what I'm going to do is pretty much just avoid this lattice type with the models that I want to create so I'm going to ditch this one and since I like the protection lattice pad type I'm going to move forward with the protection lattice now that I know which lattice I want to move forward with for this 3D model, I have two options. I can either export just the lattice cylinder itself, or I can combine the lattice cylinder with the original plane cylinder that I imported in and combine the two. And I'm going to be showing you how to do both. So to combine the two, I would select the tool Boolean at the top and I would select the parent model that I would like to combine everything into. I'm going to select import one as my parent file and then I'm going to combine it with import three and I am going to check the union Boolean operation. Union means to combine. So once that's done loading, you can see how it looks when it combines the the two files and after looking around at it I'm quite happy with that so what I'm going to do next is just export those files so I would go to menu and export I would select my parent file again which was import one which is already selected and for export type I'm going to select decimated STL and the reason I'm choosing this option is when you turn a 3d model into a lattice structure it complicates the file quite a bit, makes it a large file size. And really what this does is it decreases the complexity of the file so that it's easier, in my opinion, to load into a slicer or just edit in a software. And I like to choose a 0.04 value for that. And then when I'm done, I select export and it will export the model for you. Sometimes the exporting on this tool can take a while. You just have to be patient with it. But when it's all done, it will pop up in your downloads if you're using Windows. Next, we're going to do the same process for just the lattice cylinder itself. So again, you just select your parent file and then I go to decimated STL, switch the same value and you can rename it whatever you want. I'm going to go with lattice cylinder here and go to export. Then when everything's exported and in your downloads folder, you can then add it to your slicer. So this is what the models look like when I imported them into my Bamboo Studio slicer. This would look different depending on whatever slicer slicer or printer you're going to use, but I just wanted to show you what everything looked like on my end from Bamboo Studio. Once I select my settings and click slice, it looks like it is going to take about 14 hours and almost 200 grams to print. So after looking everything over and everything looks good here, there is nothing left to do but send the print. So this is what the files looked like after they were done printing and I think they turned out pretty good but this is really just the tip of the iceberg of all the cool things you can do with this high design online tool. The folks at Hyperganic have even made a planner pot key replacements, a mouse wrist guard and they even made a really cool looking coaster as well. I'm even using high design right now to design some 3D printable lattice shoes. More to come on that as I finalize the design for others to 3D print. 
But this made me wonder, what kind of things or files would you like to see made with this tool or would you make yourselves? Let me know in the comments. A big shout out to the folks at Hyperganic for reaching out on this collaboration for this video. I have to say, I really enjoy and think the high design tool is very impressive and I think it can be used for a lot of really cool things. Let me know if you'd like to see a follow up tutorial video or if you'd like me to create anything using high design. All right, I will see you in the next one.